watch the refresh rate on the camera. See how it changed? You have the triangle in the left-hand corner. That means the camera went to low sensitivity. When there's no triangle, that means it's in high sensitivity. Now, Corbs, let's go down with it. Let's take that triangle off. Triangle comes off. All right, not yet, not yet. And now it's gone, all right? So now that camera's in high sensitivity. We're gonna come up, it's gonna switch to low sensitivity. Watch it change, and then watch the triangle come up. All right, see the camera change, it changed gears. Now you can tell exactly where to put the moisture. So you can see the fire burn in there. So that's with the K2. Let's take a look with the K65. Let's take a look here. You can see how the triangle's on. We're gonna go low with it, take it off. We'll watch that triangle go off. See it, the image, how it changed, how much more definition you have in the stand of the Max Firebox. We're gonna bring it up. We come up, watch the camera change gears. You'll see the triangle come on, it goes to low sensitivity. So, highlight that. Highlight the convection current. Highlight the fast traveling convection current. Let's take a look through the eyes of the bullet here. See the gray fast traveling convection current up high? That's gonna be the first thing that the firefighters see. We want them to recognize the fast traveling gray convection currents and use the reach of the stream to kill that. What we'll do now is I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna close the door. I want you to look at this visually through your eyes. Cover this with the clasp. I'm gonna close the door. When I open the door, all you're gonna have is smoke from the ceiling down to the floor. What I like to focus on here is the ideas of the thermal imaging camera. Why it's so important, but visually, let's show them visually the intake and the exhaust when I open this. Watch the intake whenever I open this door. Look at where the fire is breathing from. I'm gonna open it. Right here's where the fire is breathing from. Look at the fast traveling convection current. Just got on the scene. We want our firefighters to have that thermal camera with them to help them size it up. Yes, we have to be good firefighters first and recognize this visually. We know that the thermal camera is a tool, but it's an important tool that we want them to have an understanding of. So on this one, whenever we open this, let's look at this through the eyes of the FLIR K65. All right, I'm gonna close this down and we have limited water. With limited water, I'm gonna open this up and watch. Visually, it's just smoke from the ceiling down to the floor. But when I open it, through the eye, oh, I didn't close it long enough, so I'm gonna close it a little bit longer. I'm gonna keep that closed just a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna open it up. And now look, through the eyes of the camera, you know exactly where to put the moisture. Without it, all it is is smoke from the ceiling down to the floor. But look at how my conditions are changing drastically because of the amount of heat we have in the garage. Our front door is significantly changing, and this would be another great time to highlight, is this something that we go crawling into, or is this something we stop and flow moisture? And you can see we're getting closer and closer to ignition at that front door, just by how fast the smoke's traveling. We look at it through the eyes of the thermal camera. Let's take a look through the eyes of the camera. Fast traveling convection currents coming across, and visually, look, you're having a hard time seeing at that front door. Very, very realistic conditions as far as what you may see when you pull up on that scene. Josh, let's step back a little bit. As we step back, look at the conditions here. We're gonna come to this area. Let's look at it through the eyes of the camera again as we size this up. So there we go. You can see the fast traveling convection currents coming out the front door. Without the thermal camera, that's all you have. If you have a large amount of smoke showing, you're having a hard time judging what's taking place there. Yes, you have a fire in the garage, but look at that front door. Is that front door a go situation or is it a stop and flow moisture? Watch what happens now whenever we close this garage door. We're gonna throttle this back. Watch how we significantly change. So I'm gonna take a little bit of moisture and put it around this garage door. So just a little bit of moisture around the garage door and look at your front door, look at your conditions there. This would be a good time to cover what are you gonna do? You're the first engine on the scene. You pulled up to this. Hopefully what you're gonna do is a 360. You're gonna do a 360 with the thermal imaging camera and with your visual eyes, you're gonna do your walk around. You're gonna check the conditions as you come around. So this is just from the front view. We have not walked around, but look at the difference. Look at what's taking place. See that garage? See how that's an indicator? We have the indicators of what's taking place there. Look at the front door. Josh, let's get a little bit closer on the front door. 
can we see the convection currents coming across that front door? So I would be focusing on that. If I was teaching this class, I'd be focusing on that. So now watch what happens. Let's open this garage door. Watch conditions change. You can see that all the fire needs right now is oxygen. We leave this open long enough, that fire is going to ignite. It's just a matter of time. We can tell that by looking at it through the eyes of the thermal camera, and we can look at it through our visual eyes to see that something bad's getting ready to happen. As we come across, let's take a look. There's through the eyes of the Bullard camera. We're looking at that garage area. See how fast the smoke's traveling? Focus on that. Look at how fast the smoke's traveling out of the garage. We're getting closer and closer to ignition. And look at your front door. Let's take a look at the front door now. All right, we come over, take a look at the front door, the convection currents, like we said, that gray. We want to recognize the fast traveling gray convection currents. Josh, let's get a little bit closer. All right, and let's focus in on the fast traveling gray convection currents. So there we go, we can see them, and there's ignition. So hopefully you caught that ignition, you saw what happened there. Why? Because all the fire needed was oxygen. It was just a matter of time before that would ignite. So I'm gonna let this heat back up. This time we're gonna do things a little bit different. And what we're going to do different this time is we're going to do some, some ventilation. Before we have our hose lines ready, before we have everything in place, we're going to start venting this. I'm letting the garage heat up. Remember, we're open. This door is open to the breezeway. We're open to that area. In this room, we're closed in this room. This room's closed. You're getting a little bit of smoke in there, but you're, you're not, you don't have the heat and you don't have the extension because that door is closed. So you can see how clean we are there. Compare it to this room. Now watch what happens when I open this door. Look at the smoke. Look at how fast the smoke's traveling. Extremely fast traveling smoke. Look at the intake and look at what's taking place there. I'm gonna close you down because I wanna highlight here some ventilation, all right? I wanna highlight some different ventilation things. I'm gonna close the garage door down. I'm gonna get my water bottle. That way if I have to put a little bit of water around the door. So we're gonna close it down. We got it good and heated up. Put just a little bit of moisture around the door. I changed conditions drastically. And look at this as we just got on the scene, all right? We got on the scene. We have our thermal camera here. Take a look at it visually. Let's look at it through the eyes of the camera. We started the fire in the garage. Look at your garage area. I'm gonna come across, I'm gonna scan across. You can see that we're still in that low sensitivity because we have the triangle, the left-hand corner triangle just went off. So we saw that. But I come back over, check out the difference here. So this is something to highlight. There it is, it comes back on. Now, watch what happens when I open this window. So let's say we decided to vent this window. Take a look at the smoke conditions from that window. Look at how fast the smoke's traveling. Highlight that. Highlight whichever type of thermal camera they have in service. Highlight the fast traveling convection current. So that's gonna be important so we can see what's taking place there. Look at it visually. Look at it through the eyes of the camera. Now watch what happens whenever we vent this garage door. We're gonna open this garage door. Fast traveling smoke. Look at where you're at on the neutral plane. Watch what happens here. Watch everything that's taking place and be highlighting that. It's just a matter of time before that ignites. It's, it's going to ignite. It's just a matter of time. So watch what happens when we open the front door. Look at your front door conditions. Look at how much things have drastically, drastically changed. So one more time, we'll come up. Let's take a look at this through the eyes of the, of the visual eyes. And now let's look at it that we're sizing this up. There's your fast traveling convection currents. You can see them. I come over to my other room. You can see how you're getting the extension into the other room. You can see the fast traveling currents. And there, we just had ignition, all right? Why did we have ignition there? Because we left that garage door open. So everything's heating up now. Everything's changing gear. Firefighters, they're up here, they're doing a search. They threw a ladder, they're going up, they haven't put a hit on the fire yet. Now, what we wanna highlight is the importance of if that firefighter goes into this room. We wanna highlight the importance of them closing the door in that, if that's a bedroom. Whatever room that may be, we want them to highlight the importance of closing that. So watch the fast traveling smoke, everything's changing. I'm going to close this down by throttling it back at the garage. 
See how everything changed in that environment? So we significantly changed everything. And I watch, watch when I open this garage door. I'm gonna open this garage door and watch the conditions change. They'll drastically change. The garage door is closed now. I'm gonna open it. Look at your smoke conditions changing on the second floor. You can see you can see a significant difference here on the second floor. So everything's changing gears, everything's changing fast. And like I said, if you have to throttle this back, you can throttle that back right there in the garage. So let's check our conditions in this room. Look at what you have. Look at that intake and look at how we just ignited everything. We ignited on this room and we ignited on the second floor. Why? Because we opened it up. You know, we gave the fire the oxygen that it was looking for. Now look at your extension into this room. I'm gonna close you down. Watch what we do on the second floor. So you're able to show the, the, the travel of the smoke, of the fire gases. You're able to show everything as far as how you want to throttle this. You know, it's up to you as far as the objectives that you want to teach and you want to show. So look at your smoke conditions. Watch when I open this door again. I open it, everything changes. There's ignition on the second floor. I come here, look at your intake.